Hey guys, so we're out here with the red truck and guess what we have here? We have some CV fabrication turbo inlet tubes. But if you guys are wanting a good upgrade for your 2021 and newer 3.5 liter EcoBoost, then these are gonna be a great option for you. Um, I do know the other the other option that you can get are the K&N inlet tubes, but um, I think I would rather prefer having some CV fabrication inlet tubes on my truck. So what I do wanna show you guys is the nice high quality metal um, connections here. Um, I don't like the factory using plastic connections. Um, they're strong, but um, if you're a little bit too hard on it, you can easily break it. And these will not break. All right, so I just disconnected my JLT intake and just kind of spun it out of the way so I have some room to work here. Now, these little connectors on the stock inlet pipe here, they're just going to push out ever so carefully and come right up off of there. And this one, you're just going to squeeze these two tabs. And as you're squeezing it, push it forward, pull it out till it pops out just like that. You're gonna weasel it off there. This pipe right here is a challenge. Um, those orange little plastic things that are inside there break off very easily. I have already broken mine off of this side. Um, there's no good way really to get this out. I have not found a good way yet, so um, as you can see, I broke each of those little tabs. The whole thing should technically like push in and the orange piece actually comes out from the actual connector. Um, but I did not figure out how to do that without breaking it first. So um, be very careful with it. Um, if you have one of those plastic tools that slides underneath and you can push the tabs out, you can maybe get it out. Um, Otherwise, just break it. Order yourself a new one. It's only 14 bucks. I ordered myself a new one. All right, and lastly but not least, we have the pipe that is for the recirculation. Mine is just disconnected down there because I have the blow-off valve, Turbo Smart blow-off valve, and I'm just going to twist it. Now all I have to do is go down there to the turbo and loose, loosen the little screw that's holding it on to the inlet on the turbo. So if you pry this off and you peek in there and you see that little screw right there. All right, so once you disconnect it from the turbo, now you see this little black piece right here. See that? So there's a little nub that's in there. And I can actually show you better on this side of what that is. You see right here where my finger is, there's a little like um, pokey thing that goes in there and it's, you got to pull it out. So we got to do the same thing right here. So you're going to push it towards the wheel well. Yeah, just like that. So now it's just a matter of carefully twisting it off the turbo and gently weaseling it out of here. And there we go. As you guys can see, we have a larger diameter on the CVF pipe. Um, this, I can almost wrap my fingers all the way around it. The CVF, I cannot. And also on the factory pipe, they've got this little divot in it to pass something. And the CV fabrication pipe does not have that. Um, also, the inlet coming in is larger than the factory one. slides on there like butter. All right, so same thing over here. You guys see that little nub there that goes into that little bushing? You're gonna push it out, get it disconnected from that bushing. And then, then let's take a little peekaboo here at the turbo. Hopefully I loosened it enough. Out of here. As you can see, it's got this rubber little 90 on it um, and that thing bends around and it's kind of hard to pull the inlet pipe out so as you guys can see there's some big differences there in um, cross-sectional area you got these big cuts out of the pipe right there around it let's do the hand test 
okay? Let's try that in here. Wow, that's a big, that's a big change there. It's gonna be harder to finagle this down through there because it's not, So in order for you to get it in there properly, just take out this um, connection to the PCM right here and just push it out of the way and it allows you to bend the pipe up into this area in order to push it down. All right, she's all hooked up. Everything looks good. Love those CVF pipes. Um, I will have to tighten the hose clamp on the turbo now, now that everything's all lined up, but everything's looking good and went in pretty easily. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to CV Fabrication for sponsoring the products in this video. Um, I can't wait to test these out on the new big turbos that are coming very soon. You guys will be very excited to see that uh, for the red truck. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.